Hi everyone, I hope you've all had a good week. This is our last children's time together until the fall. So thank you for joining me all this over the last year every Sunday. I so enjoy doing the children's stories and we're going to take a little break over the summer and I'm going to get a few new things ready and we'll come together in the fall and uh, be all ready to go again for another year together. So since it's our last uh, week together this week, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite stories from the Gospels. It's the story of the Good Samaritan. It's found in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verses 25 to 37. And this is one of the most important stories that Jesus shares with us. And one day, Jesus is sitting with the disciples and other followers and teaching, and a lawyer comes to him and says, Teacher, what must I do if I want to live with God after I die? And Jesus asks him, what does it say in the law books? And the lawyer answers him, love God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and love your neighbor the way you love yourself. And Jesus said, that's right. So do that, and you will live with God forever. But the lawyer wanted to argue with Jesus. And he said, but then who is my neighbor? So Jesus told him a story about a Samaritan. In the land where Jesus lived, most people didn't like the Samaritans very much. There was a lot of tension. But one day a man was walking down a lonely road all by himself, and suddenly some robbers came. They grabbed the man and they beat him up. They took his money, his clothes, and left him lying, bleeding in the road. Now first came a person who was very well dressed, all dressed up in very nice clothes. Oh, said this person. Well, I don't want to mess up my nice clothes. I'll pretend I didn't see him. And then a very busy person came along. Oh, said the busy person, if I stop, I will lose some time. I'm too busy. I will pretend I didn't see him. And then a Samaritan came along, and no one expected the Samaritan to help. But the Samaritan looked at the man lying beside the road. Oh, said the Samaritan, this poor man needs help. I'll see what I can do. And so the Samaritan put medicine on the man's wounds. He tore some of his clothes into strips and made bandages. And then the Samaritan put the man on his own donkey and took him to an inn, where he said to the innkeeper, take care of this poor man. Here is some money to pay for it, and I will come back in a few days. If it costs any more to take care of him, I will pay you when I come back. So when Jesus finished the story, he looked at the lawyer. Now who was being a neighbor? to the man who was robbed. And the one who was kind to him, said the lawyer. Well, said Jesus, go and be like that kind person. And this is what Jesus is telling us to do. This is what it means to take care of our neighbors. Now, we have obviously had a very different year from usual, and you have all worked really hard to take care of your neighbors. You have not been going out as much. You have been very careful about wearing your masks and keeping distance from others when you are out and about. And for that, we thank you. I know for all of our young folks, this has been a challenging year. And you've had to do a lot of things you've never had to do before. But we're getting there. And we hope we will be able to be back together soon in person. One of the things we can do is, for those of us who are able, we get vaccinated. I had my vaccine on Wednesday. I was very excited. But there are parts of the world where this is a really difficult thing. And this is one of the ways now we need to think about how we can be neighbors. We are very fortunate to live here in Canada and in Nova Scotia where it's easy for us to get health care and to get vaccines and that sort of thing. UNICEF, however, deals with populations where that is not the case. UNICEF was created to look after children after World War II. It's part of the United Nations. Uh, it's one of their agencies. And they work in countries where... There are conflicts, perhaps natural disasters, countries that don't have as much money. They do a lot of work in refugee camps. And refugee camps were already very overcrowded before COVID hit. And of course, we know one of the most important ways to deal with this is to keep our distance and stay healthy and all those sorts of things. And right now, they need help to help provide for folks in refugee camps, to help provide clean water, a little extra space, and vaccines. So we've helped out the UN before. We, as a Sunday school, we've supported them with the help of the congregation, the United Nations High Commission on Refugees, um, to help provide materials for camps in winter for the folks who needed it. And right now, this is one of the things they need help with. So if this is something that you 
are able to help with, please have a look online and see what you can do. The need is great and our neighbors need our help. In the meantime, everyone, thank you so much again for joining me every Sunday for these stories. I've really enjoyed doing them. I look forward to being back in the fall. Take good care. Have a great week. Enjoy your summer. Wear your masks. Wash your hands. God bless. Bye, everyone. See you next time.